Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another Trevor's Phone Reviews video. And you guys might notice something that is very, very not pleasing to me in a video and that is this big huge yes this big huge pop filter which relatively is a good idea for shooting videos and doing voiceovers because uh it takes away those plosives and those uh words that are going to distort the microphone so i went on amazon and i was going to do a whole unboxing about this product but what i got was literally um, it just says Blue Yeti Nano, made in China, um, it's a little windscreen that goes over the microphone, and it's gonna be a lot more enjoyable on video than this pop filter, ASMR. Ha ha ha. So let's see what the big difference is, if it works. From the reviews on line it basically says this is either too big or it doesn't work and i think that's just a better overall uh image a better overall uh especially on video when you're doing video with a microphone like a podcast it's a lot better with this out of the way but when i say this is better for a podcast when you have the windscreen on because it's going to stop those plosives it's gonna definitely stop those plosives but on video it's not enjoyable so now that we got the windscreen on is the audio that much better because i can't hear it because i don't have the headphone jack plugged in directly into the um blue yeti nano i think it looks a lot more appealing especially for video it's a lot more uh appealing because you don't have this huge windscreen in your face as pop filter so just let me know if you guys enjoyed this or you guys enjoyed the audio when i had this on which one did you prefer and why and like i said this would be good for gamers doing live streams over on twitch or facebook live streams or just podcasters in general and i'll get that proximity effect that's a uh, very close to the um uh blue yeti but i do notice it's not very flush on there so it's very easy just for me to pull off so it doesn't fit very tightly but can you tell a difference with this or is there another difference with this or did I waste my nine dollars buying it like I said this was literally the whole packaging that it came in it came in a envelope and this that was it there's no other uh, thing that I was gonna unbox so I was kind of surprised that this is all I got from Amazon. But hey, if it does what it's supposed to do, that's all it needs to do. So, as always, remember to rate even if you hate, comment, and subscribe. And this has been another Trevor's Phone Reviews video. So, as always, I'm out, baby. So, with those demonstrations, without the windscreen on, with the windscreen on, and with the pop filter was there any noticeable difference i think the actual noticeable difference is with this pop filter on if i put the pop filter in front it still gets a lot better sound and i know pop filters are not going to increase the sound quality of the microphone but i think the plosives are still being taken away more with this because it is a real uh, pop filter compared to this that doesn't necessarily fit flush because like I shouldn't be able to just to 
grab this and pull it off. It shouldn't be that easy. It should still be a little bit tight on the um, microphone. So when I go to use it, it's doing what it's supposed to do. But I just think for video, it's going to be a little bit better. But hopefully, it's not going to be distorting my voice. Because if it is, I'm going to have to go back to this unit. But just let me know what you guys think of the overall sound quality and whatnot. And if you're doing like real up close, kind of trying to get that radio uh, voice, it might not sound as great either. So I am less than an arm length away and this is what the sound quality is of the blue yeti nano i don't believe these are the best microphones for youtube i definitely will intend to upgrade my audio but for now this is what i 